Now, I could start with who, what, or where is the Bimini Biological Field Station, better known as the Shark Lab. But I'm pretty sure you already know that. And if you don't, no harm in that. Just click that link in the top right corner. After all, this is a YouTube video. What I am here to tell you about is the life of a volunteer intern at the Shark Lab. Hi, my name is Elijah and I'm currently at the lab, thanks to the opportunity provided by the Doc Gruber Memorial Scholarship. I'm from the Caribbean islands of Trinidad and Tobago, located at the Southwestern Caribbean. Now, that doesn't make travel any easier or as simple as a quick plane or boat ride from one island to another. It's just a bit more than that. My travel started in Piaco International Airport. From there, I flew to Miami International Airport and then took a short bus ride across to Fort Lauderdale International Airport. And from there, I flew across to South Bimini. But before I get into reaching in the lab, how did I even hear about the lab and get interested in the lab? And even more, how did I prepare for this trip? After all, you always hear about the after and during, never the before. Well. My interest in the lab started when I was able to attend a guest lecture by Dr. Dean Grubbs, where I heard about the deep sea research and six gill shark research that he was doing and all that he had done with the lab. From there, I followed them on social media and was exposed to all the field station, lifestyle, field work and research projects, both past and ongoing. Seeing this piqued my passion even more for field work and what it had to offer. Therefore, naturally once the opportunity came to apply for the lab, I jumped at it. And thankfully one thing led to another, and I'm currently here on the Doc Gruber Memorial Scholarship. That said though, preparation was a bit more than meets the eye. It was more like a whirlwind of activity, with many emails back and forth, documents to be signed, plans and ideas to be discussed, all while trying to manage post-grad school, along with learning how to edit videos and voiceovers, which I'm pretty sure you can see that I'm struggling with. Now, with any big embarkment and opportunity, you have worries and fears coming into it. The internship was no different. Naturally, with following anything on social media, you have your apprehensions on, is it true, is it made up or staged? But I'm more than happy to say that the lab shows it like it is. That said though, it makes me nervous if I can meet their standards. But you may ask, what happens all the other times when stuff are not posted or what happens during the other times like those slower days when there's no field work or classes now while sadly we have been going out a lot less due to some restrictions there's no such thing as a slow day at the lab while we may not be in the field every day one of the secrets of the lab is the crew lifestyle that everyone develops from helping clean, to helping cook, to helping do literature research. It's all one big group effort, so there's always something to do. This constant workflow and excitement creates an atmosphere for constant learning and development and endless memories, which I'm more than excited to make an experience. But I am also excited for Hammerhead season and all the other labs for Bronx that the island and lab has to offer. Seeing all the pictures and hearing all the stories, I can't help but be excited for what journey and opportunities the future holds. But this is a journey that can only be experienced over time. And that's why I'd like to let you know about this series called Shark Lab Diaries, where we take a dive into the life of an intern every day, every morning, every night, both ups and downs. Store that sperm and then pregnant. So, 
Yeah, pretty cool. Save it for rain. Their reproductive <laughs> cycles of, of sharks is unbelievably cool. Oh, that was really cute. Um, yeah, so these guys, I mean, they're yellowish, but you can tell that they're pretty dark. Um, so these guys probably spend a lot of time um, near the surface tanning, um, as we were talking about. Um, and also, they're not like they're yellow, but they're not really yellow. Um, and you can tell that there's a lot of difference between individuals. Like they're not the same color, which is why we almost never use color as an indicator.